Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. It's the weekend, it's not yard selling. Actually, didn't find a single thing yard selling. So this is from Craigslist. Looked at an ad. He had these for five bucks. Exercise, I, I big fan of that brand. These are those ball end Allen. Some of them are a little bent, but for five bucks. And while I was there, he had a whole bunch of stuff listed, mostly Craftsman ratchets and stuff. They had all these hammers for 10 bucks. I really only wanted this one and that one. These three are, I believe, Harbor Freight. That one's okay. While I was there, on the ad, he also listed he had an unsorted box. So I looked through the other stuff. He had, again, 20, 30 ratchets, you know, socket sets, stuff like that. And I asked him how much it, for the box without even looking at it. And he goes, well, I'd really like you to look at it. Because he, he said he wanted uh, 50 bucks for it. So I went over to the box. Just opened it this much. And I go, okay, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. He was like, well, don't you want to root through it and all that? I was like, no. Well, first thing I can see is a big drill chuck. So, you know, I can't only go so wrong with this box now. But he said he picked all the good stuff through it as far as complete sets of sockets. So, but I think there'll be some good stuff in here. If not, there's a lot of stuff to go through. So I bought it without rooting through it, which he kind of made a thing about because there are other people that are looking at stuff. He's like, man, I really wish you'd go through it and stuff like that. It's like, no, no, it's fine. It's, I kind of explained what I do. and So yeah, let me get the camera set up. Let's see what we got for 50 bucks. I'll bring you back. Okay. First thing, metal tin. Oh, sweet. It is full of more ball end Allen head things with a screwdriver handle. That is super cool. <laughs> Considering that was one of the main things I went there to get. Oh. Super cheap Chinese hacksaw. Got a whisk snips. Look at that drill chuck. It's a Cushman three quarter inch capacity. Needs a little bit of cleanup. Turns nice and smooth. That's cool. He had a few. He said he sold a bunch of machinist tools a couple weeks ago. Mm. Oil filter pliers. A puller. I don't see. It's got this. Looks like it's pulling for puller for a specific thing. I don't see a name on it. It's very solidly built. Cool. A pack of Miller's Falls chisels, which I'll use as scrapers. Wonder Bar. Sweet old strap wrench. It's a Lowell Corporation. Very cool. You know I love my plumbing stuff. Let's see what else we got? A Cornwell ratcheting wrench. Very cool. Some more ratcheting wrenches. Cheapy. It's a Titan. A proto line wrench. Super awesome. Big fan of proto, as you know. Another ratcheting wrench. Challenger by proto. Line wrench. And man, I've been coming across line wrenches the last couple of weeks. Handful. Cheap nut driver. Nice Vaco nut driver. 
Indian Ranch, Canadian Ranch. I don't think I have a lot of wrenches from Canada, but Wine Ranch. A little Mac double ended wrench. That stuff in the goodie pile. This might go a little bit. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, a couple of these cheap telescoping magnets. Not sure what that's for. A little Dremel. A lot of screwdrivers. Really stubby driver. Esco. Nice clear blue handle. Nice, nice, very nice. Amylite. Seems to be wired wheeled a bit, but that's a nice shape. These style Craftsman, which I believe are the newer ones. That have the etching right there. Probably fine. Looks like there's a whole set of them. Craftsman nut driver. SK nut driver. I uh, don't see a brand on that. Stanley. Craftsman chisel. They're one of those crafted ones. Some old Matco Phillips. We have a uh, the Scott and Fetzer company. I have no idea what this is. It's some kind of crimper, obviously. If you know what that is, please uh, let me know. Drop something. Uh, boot clip pliers, I think. Mm, not sure what that's for. No brand on it or anything. Almost looks like a trim tool of some, some kind. Oh, we got a precision tool. It's a, ooh. It's a Starrett. Inside out caliper. Very cool. Here's a wood crayon. There's a snap-on. There's a little bit of surface rust. Crow's foot. That's cool. Clips to a uh, socket rail. Got an Allen and a Vaco T handle. And when I'm done, I'll spread this stuff all out so we can get a more clear picture of what we got here. A bunch more of those Craftsman screwdrivers. They're a little rigid pipe wrench. Very nice. Cobalt. In nippers, but they don't close all the way. Cheap saw. Cobalt cutters. I'll keep those around for uh, abusing purposes. There's a ratcheting wrench. One of these auto strippers. I'm starting to get a bunch of those. I don't really use them. The 
big Proxim Universal with snap on one. She's a little floppy. I don't know what snap on's return policy is for a, you know, guys off the street. Snap on a socket. There's a bunch of chain in there. Wire cutter, or a glass cutter, I mean. Bent Allen T handle. Some more of these style ones, which I like. A uh, snapping plier, but it's missing the ends. We're almost done with the box except for a few uh, bags of sockets. Here's an Impact Universal. It's a Allen brand. Cool. New Britain Universal. Vaco snapping pliers. Saw this for a V block, but there's no V block in here. There's the sockets. We'll go through. We'll go through these sockets separately. Three bags of sockets. A bunch of Craftsman and various brand Allen wrenches. Bag of wrenches. I think it's Thorson in there. See a couple Thorson wrenches. See a lot of Indian ones too. There's some kind of these look specialty. It's a stud puller. Three of those. Not familiar with those. Some of the box. There's just some random short extension. You know, broken magnets and Big Chinese Allen wrenches. Man, is. I'll show you. That's all the rest that's in there. So now, what I'll do is I'll set the stuff aside. We'll go through these sockets real quick. That'll be it, but still, that's a, there's some good stuff in there. So, let me find a new clean spot and I'll bring you right back. Okay. Look at these real quick. Sorry this is taking so long, but there's a lot of stuff. Let's go through the standard bag first. I do see some goodies already. Cheap. There's a snap on three quarter. Arda. It's an old American Husky right there. Oh, cheap uh, spark plug socket. Another Husky, one of those. The 5.8 snap on. Half inch Craftsman. There's a Create snap on. Another 
your Husky bit driver. There's an 11 16 snap on and a 7 16 snap on. All those are in great shape. That was a that's a good baggie. Now let's look at the metric baggie. These look super cheap. Yeah, these are just your typical like auto parts store sets. Craftsman. Craftsman. Craftsman, Craftsman. Again, I'm building now four sets of tools to give away to uh, people. So, when this video's done, I'll separate all this stuff out. There's two girls and two boys I'm making uh, tool sets for, besides my own kids. So, it's nice to have extras. So, all metric, all craftsman. Very good, very good. Now there's a bag of bigger sockets. Gonna do this without creating some kind of socket avalanche off the back. Big craftsman. That's Harbor Freight. Another big craftsman. Three quarter inch drive, which is weird because you didn't have any other three quarter inch drive stuff. That's a cheapie, but even the cheap three-quarter inch drive stuff is fine. Old American Husky, American made Husky. Craftsman. Craftsman Impact. An SK three-quarter. And another Craftsman. Okay, and just real quick, let me Where'd they go? Oh, the wrenches. Let's go back over here. Again, I apologize. This is taking so long. A lot of people like to see this stuff, so. so you got a Thorson. India. Another Thorson. And the uh, Taiwanese tools and the Chinese tools and stuff, I generally do with those as I put an ad on Craigslist for free. And just, if someone else wants them, they're more than welcome to them. Not sure what that brand is. Oh, cheapo. Another oh, Thorson. Cool. Cheapo, cheapo. And two more Thorsons. there including the hammers and stuff that was 65 bucks for all that i think we did pretty good this is adam from small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching